today we are up here in Idlewild, California, and my son Jordan just got home from deployment. Regina's here in her yellow Jeep, and we've got the beautiful pine forest and a trail right behind us that we're gonna go explore today. Today is gonna be a great day. Stay tuned. Welcome to Show Recon, I'm Brad, and today we're up here in beautiful Idlewild, California, and we're gonna go explore the Black Mountain Trail, which is a trail that leads up this mountain to about 7,700 feet. Now, it's an out and back trail, and it should be pretty easy, but I've got my son, Jordan, who just came off deployment. He said, Dad, I wanna go hit a trail, and Regina, she wanted to bring her yellow Jeep, so we're gonna go explore, have a great day, see what we see. Regina's gonna cook up some chow, and just enjoy this mountain fresh air, so let's go. Black Mountain Trail is located about 13 miles north of Idlewild, California, just off of State Route 243. This trail is a 12 and a half mile up and back that climbs 2,300 feet straight up to a total elevation of just about 7,700 feet, and it may take you about two hours one way, depending on how much you choose to stop along the way. As you climb up the mountain, you will be rewarded with some of the most scenic trail views you can find anywhere here in Southern California. Additionally, because of the elevation change, you will experience a variety of plant life from the manzanita shrubs, which are unique evergreen shrubs with vibrant reddish brown twisting branches, to then the massive old growth towering cedar trees. Black Mountain Trail allows access to many yellow post campsites, hiking trails, and some world-class rock climbing. The first part of the trail is very well maintained and four-wheel drive isn't required for the first few miles, but the trail is narrow and depending on the day of the week might be a little congested with folks making their way up and back from the hiking and rock climbing spots. Thankfully, the second half of the trail's terrain turns a little more moderate and most folks don't venture all the way to the end where we'll be going today. This trail is closed in the winter, so be sure to check with the ranger station before heading out here. All right. We've got a long climb ahead of us, and Jordan and I are already getting a bit hungry for lunch. been home less than 72 hours you're chomping at the bit we're out on the trail so what you're looking forward to yeah I was totally looking forward to this yeah so you were gone it was a little over six months yep and this was a different Jeep when you left it was completely different I thought it was cool but <laughs> you did to it now yeah what do you think it's pretty awesome yeah. I mean I've been telling you forever that you should put 40s on it I mean 39s are close enough and then the whole paint match thing is pretty cool too yeah. How do you think about the ride? You've driven it on road for a little while and now yeah. on the trail. What do you think? Super smooth. Yeah. Yeah, the long arm kit made a big difference. I think it really did make a big difference. Yeah. Well, what do you think? This is beautiful up here. I'm excited to see where this ends up, but man, pine trees, the granite mountains. This is a beautiful trail. Yeah, it's really nice up here, actually.
Just a few more miles up the trail and we came across an area where many vehicles were parked along the hiking trail that leads up to the premier boulder climbing area here in Southern California. In speaking with one gentleman that was getting ready to head out, he told us this is world-class climbing with some technical challenges and great views. Now, you all know I don't do heights, so you won't find me out here doing this, but if you're into climbing, this might be a great spot to check out. lunchtime and we decided to pull off the trail here beautiful spot and Regina is already getting quick to work here what you making hon uh, we're gonna have Greek quesadillas and I'm making the tzatziki sauce to go with it Ooh, getting fancy Regina loves cooking and she wanted to do something a little different for lunch today but still keep it simple and a Greek quesadilla come on that sounds delicious plus I'm starving she whipped up a simple tzatziki sauce with some Greek yogurt, fresh dill, lemon zest, and a cucumber. Then chopped up some tomatoes and some banana peppers and toasted it all up on some flatbread with some cheese, some rotisserie chicken, and some olives. Oh yeah, this was smelling great. And Jordan, you think he hadn't been fed in years. He was starving and ready to dive right in. It's actually really good. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a little crisp up here, so having something nice and warm like this is uh, is perfect. And didn't take a lot of effort, and something tells me this is going to taste as good as it smells. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Good? Hun, that was delicious. And that yogurt sauce? It's good stuff, guys. Oh, yeah. I think we'll be having these again for sure. After a nice break and full bellies, it was time to see where the rest of this trail leads. finished lunch I made Greek quesadillas if that's even a thing it's not it is now but um, they were quite tasty if I do say so myself but um, I'm driving my little yellow Jeep and I absolutely love this Jeep it's so much fun to drive I love just about everything about it um, the turning radius is phenomenal and it's just fun that I have a vehicle that can take me to beautiful places like this where I'm surrounded by trees and mountains and kind of get out of the city for a little bit. So um, I'm a happy camper today.
So we are at about 7,600 feet and there's this little overlook here that we just wanted to stop and take a look because there is some really beautiful views of the mountains down below. You can see for miles and miles. Just gorgeous up here. First off, lunch was on point. That was really good. Way better than grabbing a sandwich at the uh, gas station. Those were really good. Janet, you can make those anytime. Uh, I gotta be honest, I was a little worried about this trail as we started out because the first couple miles were really just some super easy dirt road. But ever since we got past that point where a lot of the hikers and boulder rock climber guys were things have gotten a lot more fun. This trail is definitely interesting in the second half. We're going through some ruts, some rocks, and uh, getting a little flexy, and man, it's just really nice. It's been beautiful, beautiful out here the whole day. We could not have asked for a better day to come hit the trail. I think this is one I'll be coming back to. There are several campsites that we have marked since we've been out here, and uh, I think there's some potential to maybe come spend a night out here and do a little more exploring. So I'm not gonna tell you where those campsites are. You're gonna have to come find them yourself. So along this trail is a big section of the Pacific Crest Trail, the PCT. You can see here it goes up through these mountains, up in the trees. What a beautiful place to hike. And oftentimes in peak season, peak hiking season, what you'll find is some folks will hang out up here. They call them trail angels and will donate few food and water for the folks that are hiking through here. But it's a, it's a grueling three month hike to do the PCT, but you get to go see some beautiful spots like this. Look like Frank and Jeep. It's not gonna look like a Frank and Jeep. It's gonna look <laughs> cool. Yeah, and then I'll get a horrible gas mileage. It's not like you're commuting anymore. You work from home. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, there's that. We'll see. Dad's putting my steps on next. 
Your what? My steps. Oh. So I can easily get in and out of the Jeep. You know, so then bigger tires will be no issue. No. So after a little over 12 and a half miles, the trail comes to an abrupt end right here at a beautiful overlook. Not a bad place to end. I really enjoyed this trail today. You know, the first part was pretty easy, uh, but it was nice scenery along the way. But after we got that to that section where the folks were going bouldering, the terrain changed a little bit, got a little more rocky, got a little more rutted. We had a little more fun, but the scenery always always delivered. It has been beautiful. I am giving this trail a huge thumbs up and I think this is one I will definitely be coming back to. It's been great having my son out here and my wife out here in her two-door. This has just been a beautiful day. If you have not been over to trailrecon.com, make sure you head over there. We've got some great gear and some merchandise over there. Until next time, thanks for watching.